today we are going to compare a permaculture with a really uh, normal agriculture in quick terms just to give you an idea of the difference although I didn't use really the full picture of the permaculture but if you like the video I'll make another one into more details between the difference as you can see here this is not a permaculture this is your regular agriculture the one that is dull but productive of course but we are in a modern society we tend to really kind of produce in mass but this is costing us a lot uh, as much as people are trying to do it. here we go now we start the permaculture overlay and you can see the difference when we plant and permaculture there's a biodiversity here you have flowers rosemary mixed mulching and you have colors and um, fruit trees uh, these are uh, white uh, lettuce and you have a little bit of lettuce strawberry and uh, we have many other stuff you will see here yeah, compare it and you see on the top how dull the other one is compared to this one this one is got in tomatoes uh, mixed guavas and here we have taro leaves more lettuce lettuce coyote uh, which is an amazing fruit and food and also you have here uh, other creepers uh, climbers and here we're back to the dull uh, area and you can see the big difference and here is on the, uh, some of my garden design outside these are mostly for flowers but they're important by the way if you don't have flowers you won't have bees well you might have bees but you won't have many of them so this is a full video uh, that will come up on the this is kind of a little bit more gardening designing stuff but at the same time I put food skip you, you can see on the bottom there are lettuce and uh, here lettuce and now or rosemary again flowers colored you name it I don't even know their names I just like them geraniums uh, and this is a date tree an ajwa date tree very rare uh, it takes time to grow <coughs> so all this you can see here uh, and now we are putting the video of the full permaculture mini garden I'm going to make a bigger video of a full permaculture farm when I go to the farm but right now again you can see all this good stuff mixed together and mulching as you can see the soil is not left bare it's very important not to leave the soil bare some places you will see because I didn't have enough mulch but you mulch the soil as much as possible what it does it uh, number one it retains humidity Number two, when it decomposes, it becomes uh, a fertile compost. And number three, uh, it protects the soil from sunlight. Sunlight is very dangerous, especially UV rays. They kill pretty much everything. Here we left a little bit uh, bare soil, which is not good, but I'm, uh, I, I will get the mulch soon and, and put it. Actually, I already got it. I just got lazy. Lettuce, mint, lettuce. And meat also and uh, like garlic etc check the companion uh, planting these are strawberries uh, companion planting will will allow you to plant some trees that will protect one another like back in the Maya times where they would be uh, planting corn and uh, also I think uh, they would be planting other kind of creepers that will creep on the corn plus fertilizer uh, basically give nitrate to the soil like uh, and also you have peanuts can help and here is a mix of everything this is a pistachio so basically uh, this is a quick overview permaculture versus normal industrial agriculture pick your pick the best the most important thing with permaculture is that no chemicals are used all those chemicals are dangerous because even if you use chemical fertilizers it will require that you use herbicides and pesticides because it inflates with water and they get insects as you can see in my garden um, nothing has been used except a little bit of fish poop that once in a while I put in there mulch and of course some compost there are not many insects that is eating anything that are eating anything because 
at the end of the day, they, they have so many choices. They don't eat your food. So that's why you have to have biodiversity. Biodiversity is major. So please check on permaculture and try to encourage everything, including your regular gardening. Avoid using any chemicals. You don't have to use them. Wish you all best of luck. Please subscribe to our channel. And hopefully I'll make more videos for you uh, explaining how the, the entire system works. Good luck and uh, good gardening.